Hello, welcome back to Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're at. Thank you for being here. I would like to do a spread today on Amber's Lawyers uh, to see how they are feeling about the case. Amber's Lawyers and how are they feeling about this case so far? What is the energy on the, the collective energy of her lawyers. I was asked to do Ben Rothenberg if he was trying to incite JD, but I would say if you're asking the question, the, probably the answer is yes, because <laughs> you're picking up the energy. I would say absolutely, that's their job. So I just wanna get a general energy spread on the collective of her lawyers. Here we go, the very first one here. What we have here is the hermit in reverse is the first position. I'm going to get the challenging position next. The challenging position is the king of wands. That's to be in control, the ruler card. So with that hermit in reverse, um, they have an inability to go inward. They're really not seeing the light and the path of where they're going. Um, so this is not looking super great right away. Uh, this is the repeating past errors. So they, that's that, um, I would say, I have to say this, word salad questioning uh, and feeling you know, they're not, they're, they do have a creativity in this position. So they're having to be really creative, but they're repeating mistakes. So they're not really going inward and coming out with really good solutions uh, with this in reverse. So they're making a lot of errors, a lot of errors, and they want to be in control is the challenging position. Let's get the focal point, the focal point for the collective of Amber's Lawyers. The collective for Amber's lawyers, the collective, the collective for Amber's lawyers, how they feel it's going, the energy on them, the energy on those, there we go, Woo! I'm just going to take the top one here, we have here sun in reverse, they're not happy, they realize that they probably should not have seeded the situation, there's no purification and healing in the situation, they're, they're tanking in essence, I would say, let's get to the bottom the hidden energy, the hidden energy on the collective of the lawyers, the hidden energy, hidden energy on the collective of the lawyers. Hello, come on, bring yourself here, collective, there we go. They're at a nine of swords, which I call my stinking thinking card. They're not happy, they're stuck in their head, they're really stressed out, anxiety, uh, suffering, it is rather suffering, losing sleep, they're actually losing sleep. <laughs> And they're wondering what they should do. It's two of wands. The two of wands is wanting to is is basically waiting for results. Uh, they've got a lot of choices to make. It's also travel plans. So when this court trial is done, they're going to take their stink and think and all that anxiety and go on a vacation, and take a road trip. Anything you can see, there's that road, there's that car there, and there's that met the uh, globe. So they want a vacation. They just want this to be over with, and they want to get on with their life. They're tired of it, and they're not they are not feeling good about it whatsoever. Past position that's no longer serving them. That popped. The devil, the, the entanglement. They don't like being entangled with her. Mm -mm. It's not working for them. That's that devil energy. You know, devil's willing to do anything to win. And that just isn't working for them at this point in time. I think they see that they're losing. So let's get to the future. Whoa. Okay, that came. The future looks like we have here the five of wands. That's conflicts and challenges and competition with the king of swords. So they're very competitive with each other, probably fighting. There's a lot of infighting behind the scenes, I would say. Uh, a lot of them want to be that truth speaker, judge, jury, executioner of the king of swords. So they're judging each other's performance, I would say, with the competition. So they're having a little infighting and they're, they're at a rock bottom trying to come out of it. So they're trying to recover from the infighting over the case and uh, being judged or executioner amongst each other. Let's get the seventh position, which is the feelings and the situation for them. We have here strength in reverse. They're not being able to control themselves from within. That's why they're having fights. They're having issues behind the scene. Lots of sleepless nights, insomnia. Uh, they're really grouchy. They're really grouchy and that's probably not helping them not sleeping. The eighth position, the outside influences. Outside influences for the collective of Amber's Lawyers. The collective, here we go. What is that? That is the Six of Pentacles. It's give and take. It's the charity card. So 
with this with this eighth position, they feel like they're there. It's give and take between uh, the different sides, and uh, they feel like they're giving more than they're getting back. So they're kind of feeling with a sense, let's say with the six, with this, it's selfish. It's sort of one-sided. They're feeling everything's could be possibly one-sided uh, with this charity, you know, and they're looking for harmony. Uh, they want harmony with this give and take, with the communication, I'd say, with the energy give and take. So that's at kind of back and forth energy a lot of, in a lot of respects. That's, that's a lot of give and take. That's you said, I said, it's, there's this back and forth. Uh, and it tends to be word salad coming from them, but that is charity. So they're feeling like at this point in time, they're doing a lot to help her. And it's not looking like they're going to be able to because they, they really don't want to do it. You got the devil card. They really don't want to be there anymore. So it is charity. And they're just trying to look like on the outside surfaces for the public's uh, consumption that they are nothing but on her side and helping her. But it's a lot of give and take. And it's not going well because we've got strength in reverse. They're dealing with a little devil, a devil client here. Devil client, not happy. Devil energy when you cannot control yourself from within. They cannot control her. She's out of control. And they're finding out all her lies on the stand. She's getting busted time and time and time again. So she is quite the devil energy. And they realize that she is not as she portrayed herself to them when they when they were hired in. So they're realizing that they really probably should not have entered this. I think there's a lot of regret here. But not so much in the card. But as a collective, I would say so. Uh, the nine position, uh, which the, the ninth, excuse me, is the hopes and fears. The hopes and fears for the collective of the lawyers, the hopes and fears. What are they hoping and what are they fearing? They might get the hope. They might get the fear end of this position here. The hopes and fears, the hopes and fears. Okay. But we, <laughs> they want this to come to an end. They'd like to have a positive transformation. Uh, with the partnership, that's the lovers, and they're gonna lovers can separate, go their own way when things are done, and they cannot wait to get away. They want this thing to really end. They really want to break free of this devil here. They really can't wait to go on vacation. They're at this rock bottom coming up. They just they don't know their path. They're getting lost. They don't know what the lighted path is and what to do next. They can't wait for this to end. I don't feel that this is a transformation between them. I think they'd like to, but I think they're realizing that it's not going to happen. So I see this more energetically that this is, they want this case to end and they, they can't wait for it to end. So they're really struggling there. I should calculate these two because it's so fun seeing these two together. Let's see, 13 comes to 19. 19 comes to five of clubs, crossroads. It's competition and struggles. Yes, they want it to come to an end. There's no transformation there. Competition and struggles. Not getting as much as they're giving, and it's just charity. And she is a weak client, very weak client. And it's not going well. So the final outcome, the final outcome, in terms of what the lawyers feel, representing Amber, collective energy for the lawyers of Amber. There we go. What we have here is the Knight of Swords in reverse. So with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is a, they know that she is violent and she does deliberate cruelty. So I would say they feel they're going to lose based on that. And being a knight, they don't want to go on that quest anymore with you. The opportunities are in the negatory. Uh, it is very unrealistic because it's down and with the sword, that's total, sword is down, that represents cruelty. With the sword down, that represents dishonesty, mental blocks, stress, and poor judgment. They realized it was a poor judgment to take this case on and represent Amber Heard. So that is what I have. Yes, indeed. I hope you guys enjoy this and have a great Saturday. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.